Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! HBOS, at the heart of so many scandals in the financial crisis. Today, some of its bankers jailed for a £245 million loan scam that involved prostitutes, payoffs and lavish yacht trips to Saint-Tropez. At the heart of it, Lyndon Scowfield, an HBOS manager sentenced to 11 years and three months. He took bribes to push small companies under his care into the hands of consultant David Mills, today sentenced to 15 years. Aided by his wife Alison and Michael Bancroft, he would extract crippling fees from businesses who had banked with HBOS. John Cartwright and Mark Dobson, another HBOS manager, also helped in the fraud. This case highlighted the greed, audacity and outright criminal corrupt behaviour of these individuals convicted for their part in destroying hard-working people's small businesses. Mills lavished the HBOS banker with luxury holidays and cruises, a £3,000 watch and even paid to provide prostitutes. The business which Scowfield pushed to Mills was lucrative, financing this £2 million yacht and a string of fast cars. But many viable small businesses were ultimately ruined and sometimes taken over by Mills. Eventually, the growing complaints led to the scam being uncovered. I think a lot of the victims have been, us included obviously, but so many people have been to hell and back because of this. And I'm, so I'm really pleased with today's results and I'm, I'm really pleased that the police have done such a great job. And finally, against all odds, we've seen... We've six seen people go to jail. The lurid details of this case brings out memories of everything that infuriated people at the height of the financial crisis. In an orgy of sex, bribes and predatory practices, a small group of bankers collected rewards at the cost of their customers. Judge Beddoe's sentencing said the case revealed utterly corrupt senior bank manager letting rapaciously greedy people get their hands on vast amounts of bank money and their tentacles into ordinary and honest businesses. How are you? Almost a decade on, and the taxpayer has still not been paid back for its £20 billion bailout. Now the Turners, along with several other victims, will have to start their fight for compensation, no doubt hoping their wait won't be so long. Helia Ebrahimi reporting.